Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with Let's Play Ender IO. Or as I probably should call it, Absolute Ender. Oh man, I love it. I love it so, so much. Alright, so today I want to make a little bit more progress. I want to get some more machines and get some more tools. Uh, you know, just help myself along, right? So let's head right in here. Uh, very first thing is this nether quartz right here. So since I have a silk pick, you know, if we go ahead and grind down uh, nether quartz like this, you get bonus nether quartz powder. I like that. I like that a lot. It, I think it's pretty helpful so I don't have to uh, waste anything. So I can throw that right in there. Now, the thing I'd want to work towards today is getting myself this thing right here, the dark bow, right? My vanilla bow's just blah, right? It's not great. And I want to see if I can get this thing. Now, for that, I'm going to need a skeletal contractor. And to get one of those, we're going to need a slice and splice. Okay, pretty standard, right? Well, I need a soul machine chassis. So another tier of machine chassis which means I got to take a simple one and smelt it with soul attunement powder. And yes, they know it says attunement. And so that is, right, the lapis we've seen, quartz we've seen, the black we've seen. But now it's organic brown dye. And so organic brown dye is, I'm probably going to go this way here, is twigs and pruning and mushroom stew. So twigs and pruning are going to be shrubs or uh, dead bushes, right? You can get it from grass, 60% chance, 80% chance there. And so, uh, yeah, right here, dead bush, right? Oh, that's 20%. Wait, where do shrubs come from? That, that's tall grass. I don't know. We're going to grind down a bunch and see what happens. How about that? So let's get a bunch of, uh, I guess they're dead bushes, right? And these are pretty easy to come by because I've just been getting trees. Yeah, see, it's coming pretty fast. All right, so we'll get those going. I'll throw this back in here. Now, we need mushroom stew, but, you know, mushroom stew is really easy to come by. Let's just hop outside, right? These mushrooms are all over the place, and so I should be able just to take them down, uh, just like that. And look, I got almost a stack of those mushrooms, and then I should be able to come over here to this guy, right? Same thing. Take that one down. And there's almost a stack, so, I mean, not really difficult. And then all I'm going to need is some bowls. Oh, and I don't have any. All right, so let's get four, and we'll get ourselves some mushroom stew, right? So it should just be this. And can I do that and take out... Okay, so I got four. That should be plenty. We'll grab these things. Uh, I guess I just smelt them, right? And I'll throw those together. Right? Just like that. I mean, pretty easy. And you don't need a lot of this, right? It's one per uh, machine frame. So, let's see. I'm going to need a machine... I guess it's a machine chassis. Simple machine chassis. And I'm going to smelt this guy down. And I need... I need the stuff, right? So, uh, was uses the right way? No. So, let's do... Uh, let's do... Is it a soul binder? Ah, uh, what is the thing I'm looking for here? Let's go all the way back, right? So I want to get myself a bow. Uh, I got to do it right here, a bow, right? So a bow, which is this bow. Got to go all the way through. A skeletal contractor, a slice and splice. That's the thing I couldn't think of. All right, so I need the attunement powder. So right there, right? So uh, I can do this, and that gets me 12. And 12 will be enough for a bunch of chassis, right? So I'll throw one in there. And, you know, I probably should do this again, but, you know, we'll work through it. All right, so what will it take for a slice and splice? So right here, uh, let's see, iron axe, pretty easy. And, you know, I'm going to need another one to put in it. Same thing with shears. One there, one here. And, uh, yeah, right there. Now, I want to look at my heads. Yeah, I don't want to use the skeleton skull. I want to use a zombie head just because I've got more of them. And I'm going to need a capacitor. I don't think I have any. And, you know, I'll just make myself a couple. And now this area right here, there's actually a conduit behind there. So I should be able to just chuck this guy uh, right there, right? And uh, throw one of these in there. And then what did I do with the... Uh... Oh, 
What did I do with my axe? Right, there's my axe. All right, and here's my shears. All right, throw those guys in here. All right, so we need to work on the skeletal contractor. So let's see. What do I need? Solarium, skeleton. Can I get all of this stuff? Yeah, just like that. Okay, that's kind of nice. I mean, it's one way to do it, right? And then I should be able to just shift a lot of this stuff right in there. Uh, let's see. I don't feel like you're going in the right spots. All right, so skull. Where's the skull? Skull here. Why are you not going in there? Let's just look, right? Skeleton skull. Uh, maybe it's because this thing's in the wrong position and it thinks it's, a, yeah, I thought it was a different recipe. All right, so that's going to go like that. Whoa. <laughs> look at it. It makes new noise and it drips. Oh, man. I love that. All right, very cool. We got a skeletal contractor. All right, so let's get the, uh, let's get the bow. Right, so right here, right there. Oh, do I not have any sticks? Oh, I get sticks. Are these special sticks? Are they special sticks? Hold on a second. What are these? Nutritious sticks. What's a nutritious stick? I need nutrient distillation. Oh, man. Okay, we got to get nutrient distillation, which means I need a vat. Uh, let's see. I think I can do this. I think I can do this. All right. Let's go get a vat, and we'll make a little bit of nutrient distillation. Yeah, right there. And so I'm going to want to get myself a reservoir again, right? And I should be able to pull out one of those. Uh, let's get some conduits, right? Some fluid conduits. And, oh, is that all the power conduits I've got? Uh, let's make some more of those. And we'll go set this guy down. I didn't see this part coming. I thought it was sticks. All right, so if I'm going to make nutrient distillation, I'm going to have to put in, let's see, some sort of vegetable here. Looks like mushrooms are a pretty good deal, and maybe rotten flesh. All right, so I don't want to use my skulls here. Rotten flesh, and uh, let's see, so mushrooms. Do I have a bunch of mushrooms? Yeah, I do. Did it matter which kind? I'm not really sure. And let's grab a tank, and then let's see how we make these sticks, right? The nutritious sticks. So it's just crafting. All right, that should be easy enough. Uh, I'm going to need two buckets of water, right? And we'll just do it like that. And let's go downstairs here. Uh, you know, I'd like to put it over here-ish, because I'm going to need nutrient distillation later on. So for right now, I'm just going to set it on the floor. And, you know, then I'll move it later, right? So right there will be the uh, water, right? So there's one, here's two. Let's go ahead and put the vat down. Actually, you know what? Hold on, let me pick up the vat. Can I do this and tell you to output and put the vat there? And yeah, you're going to automatically output. Eh, good thing I got a capacitor. All right, so those are going to happen. And then I just need power. And, you know... There's power right under the floor here. Let's just get to power. Uh, so right there. Yeah. See, I've been running power down this main aisleway just so I know where it is. All right. So I'm going to get some of these. Right. And we'll just come up underneath this guy. And then later on, I'll just stick it in the... Uh, oh, too much. I'll just stick it in the floor or in the wall, I guess. So let's see. Where is... Yeah, right there. Go down over here. Very cool. Cover that up. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and fill up with power. And I'll have you output to the tank, right? And I should be able to just tell you to push. And let's see. So it was uh, those and uh, I guess I'll give you these. And you should go ahead. Yeah, see, that works right there. Very cool. So I can load this right in the wall and we can export out to it. And let's see. So you're just going to go ahead and have to work. Okay, there's your progress bar. That makes sense. Uh, so let's grab a couple of sticks. And, you know, I'm just going to let that run because we are going to need nutrient distillation for stuff. And where are those buckets? Right? So let's see. You made... Ah, uh, you're going to take a little while. Right? You're going to take a little while. Okay, so I'll come back to that in just a minute. Now, while I'm thinking of tools, 
The other thing I'd like is some dark shears, right? Let's get all the tools. And that means I'm going to need a uh, crystal here. I'm going to need a vibrant crystal. So let's get one of these dudes. And let's see how far we can get with the XP that I've got on me. So there's four XP. And there's another six. And now what do you get? Okay, so you just get power upgrades. All right, I wanted these to shear the sheep that I've got going on outside. And I'd like to test those guys out. Right, so right here, very cool. Uh, right over to the farm. And now I think this is AOE shearing. Let's check. Let's see. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I got like all the sheep except for that dude in one shot. Ooh, I want to fix this chicken thing too. Yeah, let's fix the chicken thing here. Uh, I want a vacuum chest. The chicken thing is so irritating. Let's just, uh, let's fix that too. That's kind of the plan, right? Let's just fix all the things here. So I'm going to get a vacuum chest. Now, can the vacuum chest, does it push? Does it push? No, I don't feel like it does. So I'm going to need, not a cable, I'm going to need a conduit just to push. And I'll just get myself a chest for right now. That'll work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll totally work. Let's get this. I got all that stuff on me. All right, back out to the farm. Yeah, right over here, because there's nothing worse than chickens, right? Eggs flying into your inventory all the time. I feel like right about here is the middle. Uh, I need something to block up with here. So let's just get some dirt. Real fancy dirt. And I'm going to go ahead and put my vacuum chest up there. Right? And let's just check the range here. Show range. That is plenty of range. I don't care if it's overlapped or not. That'll work. And then I should be able to put my chest right here. Or maybe underneath it. Right? Oh, <laughs> it got it. Very cool. All right. So that right there. And I'll throw this dude right here. And we'll extract, and I'll insert, just like that, right? And all my stuff should go in there. Cool. Now I don't have to worry about uh, eggs constantly flying into my inventory. I like that. Okay, so Dark Shears, you're a keeper. You go in the bag. Uh, let's see if our distillation is ready. Do I have... Oh, yeah, I got like four buckets. All right, so let's grab a couple of you guys. And then I should just be able to do this. Nutritious Sticks. Delicious. All right. Very cool. And let's go ahead and make the bow. Yeah, I like this. All right, we'll make the bow right there. So you need the same thing. You need another vibrant crystal. All right, let's get this guy going. Right there. All right, so I got a vibrant crystal. Uh, and let's power this guy up. And let's put at least one on it. And so, okay, this one just has uh, capacitors as well. So I'll charge this guy up, and let me just drop off the stuff that I don't need at the moment. Yeah, very cool. All right. Man, I'm going to get a lot of new stuff today. Let's see. Charge you up, and now I can dump you back in there. And I'd like to check this guy out. Are there mobs on the radar? It says there's creepers this way. Let's go just take a little peek, right? Shouldn't there be creepers right out here? Uh, they're probably underground. Oh, wait, spider, spider. Let's shoot the spider and see what's up. Oh, good zoom. Good zoom. Uh, okay, so decent. Right, three shot. I'll take it. Excuse me? Excuse me? I know I was getting hit by a baby spider, but I don't see it. All right, well, whatever. Let's just leave him alone. Very cool. So got a better bow, and then we can enchant this as we go along. All right, so if I've got this guy now, I now have the ability to get myself wireless charging. I really want wireless. So I want an ender resonator. Yeah, and I've got all this stuff. Very cool. All right, so let's see if we can get this going. All right, so if I stick you in there, does everybody else then know? Yeah, it does. All right, so while that does that, we're going to need a bunch more capacitors. Uh, so let's grab four, uh, five, whatever, and turn it into uh, some double layers, just like that, and turn this guy into an octatic. 
There we go. And there's that. So now I can get wireless charging. This is super important to me. Oh, I love the wireless charger. Because, you know, this thing is good, but this thing is better. Boop, just like that. Now, it doesn't have a range, but I'm assuming that it'll get me anywhere up here. Very cool. All right, so we got those things. Now, kind of the on this theme here, kind of the one machine I don't have is a soul binder. Right? So let's grab a soul binder, which means I'm going to need I'm going to need another one of these. Do I have Do I have another chassis? Yes, I do. All right, so let's uh let's smelt this guy together. Right there, cool. And let's see what it takes to get a soul binder. Yeah, and this is kind of my main goal right here, soul binder. I've got heads of every flavor. So Soul Binder, you can go right up there. And let's see, I still have 16 levels left on me. Oop. <laughs> I meant to just eat. All right, so I got 16 levels left on me. And so that's kind of the direction I want to go is let's use the Soul Binder and start working on a mob spawner, a powered spawner. And I actually want to start with Zombie right here. And so I need a powered spawner. So I need a machine chassis. I'm going to need a Z-Logic controller. All right, so let's grab this stuff uh, right there and right here. And I think this works best if I put the head in first. Yeah, because then it knows what it is. I like that. I like the dripping. I really do. All right, so let's take a look at a powered spawner. What else does this need? Uh, so I'm going to get a couple of Vibrant Crystals. Do I have the alloy? Yes, I do. All right, so two of those. And it's any head, right? So I really want to be using Zombie because they're the most common at the moment. All right, so let's see. I'm going to get this guy. And i got to remember how all of this works. All right, so here's a powered spawner. And uses on it? Yeah, empty painting machine. So I've got to put it with, let me think about this. I've got to put it with a spawner and I think I've got, yeah, I've got a zombie. Oh, I've already got it on me. I got a zombie spawner, right? I feel like that's right. I feel like I have to put it in the soul binder if I want to change it. And if I don't, I just put it in here. Oh man, it's all 16 levels that I've got. Yeah, but that'll work. All right. So now I've got a powered spawner and let's grab some conduits. Yeah, I want redstone conduits, and I want more power conduits, and I am going to have to upgrade this. Oh, I am out of conductive iron. All right, let's 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 go ahead and let's fix that problem. So that's, uh, what, iron and redstone? Very easy to do. Put you guys in there. That should give me some, right? Do I have anything else? No. But I just need one to get, like, eight more. All right, so right here, we'll throw this in there. Very cool. All right, so I'm going to need uh, at least a facade. So a conduit facade, not painted. Uh, let's grab some bricks and a lever, right? And a lever right there. Okay, so I should be able to paint this up. Uh, yeah, just like that. And I think this is all I need. By the way, I've got that grass in there because it's hard to tell, but there is somewhere out here... All of this, I can't even find it. It's that good. Is all painted glowstone, right? I'm trying to see if I can see it on Wayla, but or the one probe. I don't even remember where they are now. But I lit up around the base just so the creepers weren't right on top of me. All right, let's go downstairs. And let's start working on... This is going to be an important part of the process here uh, for Killer Joe. But let's go ahead and start like right in here. And I'm going to want to do this. Let's go ahead and, yeah, let's just go down here. I guess I can turn my glider off. And just making myself a wire way, right? And I want to get over to the main aisle. Uh, hello? Look, night vision. There we go. Right, so, okay. So here I'm at the walkway. There's my power cable. And let's get this in here. Yeah. So here is my power conduit, right? We'll lay this guy in here, and I can just hop up right there. 
And then I want to lay uh, redstone. And I think if I come, let's see, I'm going to come to this point and then turn. Yeah, I think that'll work, right? So we'll do the same thing here. We'll just lay all of these guys in kind of like this. And where's the hole? Right here, right? And then I'm going to come up, I guess, right? And I really want to actually, you know what? I want to turn. Let's go. Oh, cool. It's already dug out. Let's go what? One, two, three, maybe, maybe to right, right here. Yeah, right there. Very cool. All right, so I can stick that guy in there like this, right, and hook everybody up. And then get out of the hole. Yeah, this should work. This should work out great. All right, so we'll just go ahead and add one more there. Oh, I'm going to need another facade. I didn't think about that, right? I wanted this one facade so I could put a lever on it. So let's grab one more facade. Yeah, right there. Uh, I'll paint up both of them. I'm probably going to need it, right? We're painting all the things. All right, so there's that facade. Yeah, and this will give me the beginning of a good mob farm. All right, I can put that back, and I can put this back, and I should be able to set my powered spawner right on top of it. And let's see, we are going to be active with signal, spawn a zombie, use this, all right, so this is 160 micro infinity a tick. And I do have that, but it's going to be a little painful. Right? Okay, so this will work. And, you know, I'm probably not going to finish it this episode, but I do want to do one other thing because uh, I need to get Killer Joe. I need to work on this process a little bit, but I do want to fix power. Uh, so right here. Because right now, I mean, I guess I could do it, right? Let's go ahead and do this, and let's see it happen. All right, so there's the spawning progress, right? Uh, and you are going to go ahead and spawn. I don't know how many zombies. And that's the problem, is once I go ahead and upgrade here, it's going to cost more and more power. But I like having these guys in their room, and I might be able to stack them up and get multiples, but I also like being able to turn it on and off. Oh, wow, I got four. All right, very cool. Yeah, we're so going to get somebody else to do all the killing for us. Very cool. All right. So there's two things that I can get done, or I can at least start getting done. So, you know, I told you if we could do it with Ender.io, we should. Well, I've been using redstone lamps, but we've got the ability to get electric lights, right? And they're not that difficult. It's fused quartz, silicon, some capacitors. And so I'd really like to get like four of these guys. And of course, I am short. Uh, so let's just do electric. Yeah, I'm short like a capacitor. All right, gold. Gold is going to be the bane of me. Right, so let's get some lights here. And yeah, we should just be able to uh, click out four of those. And just for right now, there's a capacitor right here. I just want to test. Let's grab a lever. Yeah, I just want to test these to see if I think they are what they are. Because I also, you know, I want to turn the lights off here and let things spawn. Right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and just stick that capacitor, just so it's got power. Uh, this is just a test because i got to run the wires, right? And if I put that light on there and hit it with a redstone signal, yeah, sure enough. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's take out all the torches. And actually, I want to move this whole setup. Yeah, I want to move this whole setup to this back corner. Let's just take a look to see how good the electric lights are. Right? Right there. And then F7. Oh, man. You know, if I move that right in the middle, I think I only need two lights to cover the whole room. Very cool. I like that a lot. All right, so what I'm going to do in between episodes then, yeah, uh, let's just make sure nothing spawns, is I'll put these guys up here and wire them into power and then bring them over to probably a switch over here, and that way I can turn the lights on and off in the room. But very cool. I just wanted to see if that was a thing. Yeah, very cool. Uh, we better make sure. I just don't need, like, a creeper to blow up. 
All right, so that gets me that. And then kind of the last thing that I want to look at here are these uh, solar panels, right? I should be able to upgrade this. And I got to stop calling them solar panels. They're photovoltaic cells. So the next year is advanced, and that'll double power. And it's not that bad. It's uh, pulsating iron an energetic alloy, and some basic capacitors. Uh, and, you know, let's see if we can do them all. Let's just see. Uh, let's see. Where is my... There it is. It's the only problem with having it painted, right? You can't always tell where it is. Is it here? Is it there? There we go. Let's just see how many of these we can do. So, photovoltaic. Uh, right there. And right here. So, if I stick that in there... I can only pull out, oh, I got to put those in there. I can pull out all five. All right, so we just doubled up power. So now I got 400 micro infinity a tick. And, oh, man, where is the thing? Hold on, got to search for it. Oh, there it is. All right, so then, right, you are, you're definitely on that. Okay, definitely on it. All right, very cool. Very cool. So now the thing I'm going to do in between episodes is I'm going to go ahead and get a bunch of soul vials, and I'm going to start capturing up the mobs uh, that I want to go ahead and spawn. And we'll probably have more spawners than we have rooms for, but, you know, maybe we uh, stack them up or something. Uh, I was just thinking it'd be nice to have some running all the time and some on demand. But I think that's about it for today. We got an awful lot of progress in very little time. I like that a lot. So, I'm going to call it there for today. I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, hey, drop me a like or a comment. I always love hearing from you guys. And then I will see you in the next episode.